Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights So this is the stand that you get the lobster tail and there's a Cuban thing, right? Yeah, sandwich. Cuban sandwich. So we'll go up to the menu board and take a look at what's available here. Florida Fresh. Yep, they have the grilled warm water lobster tail and a Cubanito, a Cuban sandwich, which is supposed to be really good. We're going to try them today, find out just how good they are. Oh, it's got pork belly and ham. Florida strawberry shortcake. Oh, they have that here too, huh? Yeah. Wow. So this is going to be our lunch. Grill, grilled warm water lobster tail, Cubanito, and Florida strawberry shortcake. You want a beverage? They got the cucumber watermelon slushy here. I'll probably just get a bottle of water. Yeah, me too. That's water share of water. All right. Oh, let's get in line. All right, here's the lobster tail. And they give you a half a slice of lime, too, grilled. Yeah. Oh, man, that looks so good. Can't wait to try it. And here's the Cubana sandwich. It's a Cuban sandwich. Looks very good. This is the strawberry shortcake. Look at them juicy strawberries. They look so good. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have that last. I'm gonna have the other things first, but oh my gosh, look at that. Looks so good. All right, time to enjoy. What are we starting with? Silverware? Silverware? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll let you split that up between us. And then I got the napkins here. I set them right there. My utensils. Okay. I'll put that with that. Put that and that with that. And I got me some napkins. I'm going to start with the Cuban sandwich. There it is. Cuban. Mm. Mm. Boy, that's good. This bread is nice and crunchy. If you like that, I do. I like the crunchiness of the bread. You can really taste the pickle. It adds to the flavor. It's really good. What do you think, Judy? Is it good? Very good. This is very reminiscent of the very first Cuban sandwich we had. In yeah. yeah. That was at the Cuban Coffee Queen in Key West. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. It's very mm -hmm. reminiscent of that sandwich. Mm -hmm. That was the best Cuban, um, Cuban sandwich that we had. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This comes in there, right in there. Mm -hmm. It's right up there with it. Yep. On the lobster tail now. So you give us a line. And I believe we're supposed to squeeze that line onto the lobster tail and let the juices of the line yeah, and it's a grilled lime too. Mmm. All right. Got a lot of juices on it. Now, you got to pull the meat out of the shell. No problem. Now I've got the meat like that all by itself. It is so good. That's not a bad chunk of lobster. For the price, it was like eleven ninety five or something like that. But I'm sure I showed you the price when I showed the menu board. But look at that! So you come here for the International Flower and Garden Festival, you got to find Florida Fresh. Time to try that strawberry shortcake.
That was our first time trying it. Yeah. So glad we did. Yeah, for sure. So that white sauce that was on the lobster tail, that was a key lime butter. Yeah. So remember to get the Flower and Garden book when you enter the park. It tells you about all the places and all the food choices at the different places. So good, good reference material. Oh, I'm so glad we went there. Florida Fresh. It looks so pretty here. All the flowers. Colorful flowers. I forgot to bring it short. Well, I think the only way to top off that meal is to get a coffee at Starbucks. Let's head over there and we'll sit down, enjoy a nice Java. I do like Starbucks coffee. I think they do a good job there. So uh, we brought our coffees out to this nice seating area outside and they have a charging unit there. I'm going to charge my phone while I drink my coffee, enjoy my water, and we also got ourselves the bum cake. This one's the chocolate coated bum cake. Boy, sure does look good. Look at that. Layers and layers. And look at that chocolate. Mm. Yeah, Judy and I are going to share that. And we both got ourselves a coffee from Starbucks. Nice coffee. And there's Spaceship Earth. Figment is over there where the flowers are. That's the picture area for Figment. Yeah. Just a nice area to sit, enjoy a cup of coffee, charge your phone. <laughs> As you enter England, you get to see Hamlet. There's Hamlet. Right there. And then up ahead, of course, you got your topiary of uh, Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore. Really cool. And then up here, Rabbit. Rabbit Winnie the Pooh, how cool. That's right here in England, right across from the Rose and Crown. The Rose and Crown, what a great restaurant. The Shepherd's Pie, Bangers and Mash. Two really great meals you can get there. And just down a little ways is Fish and Chips. Yorkshire County Fish and Chip Shop. Now that is probably the best fish and chips I've ever had when I, when I had fish and chips there. And it's a counter service. You just get it. You go out. There's tables right over there that you can sit at. Oh, look. A character's out. Alice. Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And here's the English Tea Garden. 
Presented by Twinings. Oh, this is cool. You can walk back here. So pretty. Hibiscus. Black currant and lavender. <laughs> so this is a lemon tree, huh? Oh yeah, look at the little lemons growing. Oh, it's that cool. Yeah. What pretty flowers. Raspberry and lemon. Chamomile, honey, and vanilla. Oh, and look. Mary Poppins dress in the window. Isn't that cool? And that's her hat. So, yeah. So, I asked, and this is a replica dress of the dress Mary Poppins wore in the movie Mary Poppins. It's not the original. It does look a little too in too good a condition to be the original, because that was filmed in what 1964 or something. It was a, yes. It's an old movie, so and that one looks like brand new. So it looks a little too pristine, but it does look just like it. And very good, very good copy of it. All right, now time to exit this park and walk take we're gonna take the walkway between Epcot and Hollywood Studios now this is gonna be a fun interesting thing because I don't know if people know it but you can walk between Epcot and Hollywood Studios there's a nice walkway and we're gonna take that and show it to you we exit the park here at the World Showcase just between England and France. It's also the location that you would pick up the Skyliner if you wanted to ride the Skyliner. Or the Friendship Boat. Or the Friendship Boat. It's also docked right here and you can pick that up. And both of those you can use to also get to Hollywood Studios or any resort in the area here. So yeah, let's go. So we're leaving uh, Epcot at 2.45 and we'll see just how long it takes to make this walk it's a nice leisurely walk and right along the water oh yeah there's a friendship boat heading out right now I wonder if we'll beat it <laughs> it does have stops it does go to the different resorts along the way so make a left hand turn at the bridge yeah and head towards the boardwalk. And head towards the boardwalk. We'll walk past all the stores here on the boardwalk. And if you feel like shopping, well, what the heck? You step into a store and do some shopping. They also have a really great ice cream place down here, too. Highly recommended. Highly <laughs> recommended, of course. Walk up window for pizza. Tutorial El Forno. Need a reservation for that place. And the food is really good. Oh, here's where you rent them pedal cars. Oh yeah, they're called Surrey Bike. That's what they're called. The Surrey Bike. How cool. The nice little general store called Screen Door. Oh yeah. That's connected to the store. Oh. Yeah. You can go in one door and go all the way through. Yeah. And check it out. What's it called here? Thimbles and Threads. On the boardwalk. Thimbles yeah. and Threads. Lots of nice Disney stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, they got this food truck here. Wow. They got some nice choices there at the food truck. Yeah, you take a left-hand turn as you come up to the Atlantic Dance. 
and head towards the swan and dolphin like like you're heading towards the swan and dolphin but you don't because we're gonna go to the river's edge yeah to the river's edge walkway there you go it's right here follow that squirrel <laughs> and it'll even have a sign saying hollywood studios right there that's that's true they do have signs that's nice but there's the sign it says Hollywood Studios that way and there's the friendship boat yeah and now we're gonna be walking along the river this walkway follows the river all the way up to Hollywood Studios from this point you can't go wrong you just stay on this path and you'll end up right at Hollywood Studios you got this beautiful resort which is the boardwalk resort here there's a swimming pool for the boardwalk resort right back there and right there that resort is the swan all right we got another sign letting us know we're on track Hollywood Studios up ahead and here's a bridge we have to go under and a little thing about this bridge there's a spot where it's always dripping water in fact if you look you can see on the bridge the where the wetness has created like an algae look up there and look on the ground you see the water so I suggest if you're making this walkway you go over to the far right and walk by and you won't get dripped on and if you're making this walk at night they have these nice lamps all set up along the walkway that light up at night so you can see where you're going also danger beware alligators and snakes in the area gotta be mindful of that don't get too close to the water they also patrol the waters here here's a gentleman patrolling the waters looking for gators snakes or anybody in need of help all right there's Hollywood Studios right there Hey, you can see the Tower of Terror. There's the Tower of Terror right there. And right there, right there is where the Friendship Boat drops you off for Hollywood Studios. In fact, there's a boat there right now. And there's the entrance to Hollywood Studios right over there. We made it. Hollywood Studios. This is the restrooms for the uh, bus stop. Let's see what time it is. It is 3.10. So what was that? That's 15, 25 minute walk. Yeah. Yep, a leisurely 25 minute walk. Not bad. So comfortable walk, man, that was nice. And there's no crowds on that walk. Beautiful day out today too, sun shining. And gorgeous view. And they got that river and boats going by. And Every now and then you get to see wildlife too while you're walking down there. That's nice. So yeah, that's all it took. 25 minutes. Nice and easily walk. One of the cool things about Hollywood Studios is the 50s look. The chrome type. You know the chrome diners like 50s yeah. diners. Yeah, Absolutely. it gives you that kind of feel. The way it's all set up here. All right, thanks. And of course, I got the Magic Band Plus. And every time I enter the park, Magic Band Plus goes doop doop. I feel it on my wrist. It's really cool. Look at the world up there spinning. Nice chrome. There's the dark room. Look at the old gas station look. Kind of cool, huh? And just past the uh, Hollywood and Vine restaurant, they have the Primetime 50s, which happens to be my favorite. Primetime 50s, inside it's all antique stuff from the 50s. Really cool. They treat you like a relative here, like your family. Prime Time 50s Cafe. Oh, 
look! Donald and Daisy. You don't see that very often. Wow, that's a small Donald. Donald's number one. Sing along with Elsa. What a blast. So, now I'm honored to introduce to you the Royal Historians of Arendelle. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I'm Anna. I'm... Hello, everybody. I'm Aria. Aria. Welcome. And, uh, hello, I'm Sir Eric. Oh, wow. uh, Sir Eric, huh? And we're united. Yeah. I'm just Eric. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, thank you, uh, just Eric. Man, that is always so good, that uh, Frozen sing-along celebration. We enjoy that so much. It's so much fun. Oh, here's a couple gold statues. wonder what they sound like. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, now we're in Toy Story Land. We could run into any of the toys, like Woody, Jesse, any of the Green Army Man could be out. You never know. <gasps> There's Woody. Look, Jesse. Woody and Jesse out. Wow. That is so cool. Man, I hope I see a Green Army Man out. Now, I have before, and I did a video of one of the Green Army Men out. If I don't see one here, I'll uh, put a link in to that Green Army Man video, which is really cool. He, uh, well, if you watch the video, you'll get to see what he does. It's really cool. Oh, there are the Green Army Men. They are out today. There's a whole crowd around them. There's three of them over there. They're playing their drums. Look, here they come. See the Green Army men today. That is cool. All right, we're leaving Toy Story Land and we're going into Star Wars Land. See if we can see anything cool in Star Wars Land. Oh, check these droids out. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Cool. Oh wow, looks like they got some uh, stormtroopers guarding the Millennium Falcon.
Here's Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. Let's go in and check it out. A Yoda. A little Yoda. Oh, look at this little mug. Oh, man, look at that stuff up there. The stuff on the wall, isn't that cool? There's Doc Andar himself, right there. Hi, Doc Andar. And here's where you get your lightsaber. All the attachments and everything back there. Look at them. What is this? Oh, that's what you see above ground. And that's what's below ground. Oh, man. Oh, cool. What is this? It's an interactive lightsaber hilt display stand. Oh, and that's what they want for it. There we go. Imperial credits. That's what they look like. If you wanted to buy them, that's what it cost you. So do you know what type of animal that is up there? A wampa? I think it's a whale wampa. A wampa. Okay. I was thinking it might be a yeti. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're, you know, maybe like same genealogy. Yeah, yeah. Wampa. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun checking that out. Daka does Den of Antiquities. Got to make sure you check it out when you come here to Hollywood Studios in the Star Wars area. Looks like the android's cooking up a storm today. Look at him go. He's just pumping that thing. Wow. Fire up that grill, Android. Very good. Here's what they're cooking. Must be unique to this planet. I've never seen anything on Earth like that. Here is the best ride in Disney property. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. I just wish they would make more rides like this one. This is the coolest. I remember my first time doing this ride. It was just amazing walking into that area with all the stormtroopers and that big space window it looks so real such a cool ride anyways yeah well yeah I did do a video of it I'll put a link to that video um, in this one and they'll be able to go see it because it is just awesome loved it all right this is new right here this is brand new never seen this before ice cold hydraulics Wow it's a little eatery Bouncing mini churros, what are those?
topped with Coca-Cola and bourbon candied bacon, sriracha. Wow, candy painted cinnamon rolls. Very interesting. Sounds a lot like it's a uh, sweet treats and drinks. That is neat. I like seeing new stuff here at the parks. And this is brand new. Ice cold hydraulics. All right, we just glided through the air on the Skyliner. How cool was that? Made it over here to, uh, well, we're right between Pop Century and Art of Animation. So we're gonna walk through Art of Animation. Pecos Bill, Tall Tail Inn. Best nachos in town. We're gonna go in there and have some nachos. I'm gonna have the beef nachos. What are you gonna have? The chicken. Chicken? All right. Oh man, I'm so full. Pecos Bill, awesome. Them nachos were the best. Yep, if you're ever here in Magic Kingdom, Pecos Bill. Pecos Bill. <laughs> Pecos Bill, the best grub in the West. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. It can be a bit frightening. It's something you don't know.
it's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dead.